So in this problem, we have two children of masses 30 kilos and 40 kilos are on a sledge of mass 10 kilos, traveling on smooth ice at 5 meters per second. We need to find the speed of the deserted sledge in each of these scenarios. So the first scenario we're going to look at is if both children jump off together. So both children jump off together, what's the speed of the sledge now going by itself? Now the key thing here, we may assume that when anyone jumps off, they travel at 4 meters per second backwards relative to the sledge. So what that means is that if the sledge is travelling along at 5 metres per second, then the child that's jumped off will now be travelling uh, in that direction, the same direction that the sledge is going, now at 1 metre per second. So you subtract 4 metres per second away. That's what that means. So let's take a look at part A then. Both children jump off together. So beforehand, we have both children on the sledge. So essentially looking at a joined particle where we've got 30 plus 40 plus 10, so 80 kilos. And it is traveling to the right at 5 meters per second. Afterwards, both of the children have jumped off the sledge. So 70 kilos is now traveling to the right and it's because they both jumped off there and they travel at four meters per second backwards relative to the sledge, they will now be traveling to the right at one meter per second. Whereas the sledge, which is 10 kilos, will be traveling to the right at some speed, u meters per second. So, if we use the conservation of linear momentum, we will have 80 times 5 must be equal to 70 times 1 plus 10 times u. So, 80 times 5, take away 70, divide by 10, and we get 33 metres per second. So, that's the answer to the first one. OK, now um, for part B, we're going to have the lighter child jumps off, followed by the heavier child. OK, so let's change this problem up. So we've got the lighter child jumping off. Now, they're of mass 30 kilos. They're going to be travelling to the right at one metre per second. But what we've got left is uh, the heavier child and the sledge, so that's 50 kilos in total. So the first thing we need to do is to work out the speed at which the heavier child on the sledge is going. So we'll have 80 times 5 is equal to 30 times 1 plus 50 times u. So 80 times 5, take away 30, and then divide that by 50, and we're going to get 7.4 metres per second. OK, so that is the speed of the heavier child on the sledge after the lighter child has jumped off. So now we've got a secondary problem. So beforehand, we've got the heavier child on the sledge traveling at 7.4 meters per second per second to the right. After that, the heavier child jumps off. So that's 40 kilos. Now, because they've jumped off, we need to subtract 4 meters per second from the speed that they were originally going. So they will be traveling to the right at 3.4 meters per second. Whereas the sledge will continue to the right at some speed, v metres per second. So, using the conservation of linear momentum, we will have 50 times 7.4 must be equal to 40 times 3.4 plus 10 times v. 
So 50 times 7.4, take away 40 times 3.4, and then divide that by 10, we're getting 23.4 metres per second. So that's the answer to part B. So now we're going to do the same thing, but we've got the heavier child jumping off, followed by the lighter child. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. So that's going to be the same. The heavier child is jumping off first, so that's now 40, and that's going to be 40. Okay, so our calculation here becomes 80 times 5 is equal to 40 times 1 plus 40 times u. So 80 times 5, take away 40, and then divide your answer by 40, and we get 9. So the lighter child and the sledge are travelling at 9 metres per second. So at 9 metres per second, we've got 40 kilos. And after that, the heavier child, uh, sorry, the um, lighter child, rather, is going to jump off. Now they've got a mass of 30 kilos. Now their speed is going to reduce by 4 metres per second down to 5 metres per second. And we've got the 10 kilo uh, sledge continuing at V metres per second, and we want to find V. So we have 40 times 9 is going to be equal to 30 times 5 plus 10 times V. So 40 times 9, take away the 30 times 5, and then divide through by 10, and we get 21 metres per second. So 21 metres per second is the speed of the sledge if the heavier child jumps off, followed by the lighter child.